Welcome. Please tell me who you are and why you are here. Well, my name is uh, Jupiter Gro. I work as a geriatrician in the Radboud University Nijmegen Medical Center. And I'm here because I developed with others a serious game for medical students. Uh, in that game, we learn students to uh, complex medical reasoning um, in geriatrics. So, what choices um, they have to make um, in, in complex cases of uh, geriatric patients. And, and why, why a game? Why a game? Well, there are several reasons. Uh, the first is that it's, uh, it's fun. On a subject what is thought to be not so funny, geriatrics, it's a um, serious gaming, it's a safe environment, you can make mistakes and it has uh, consequences. Um, and um, I think that are the main reasons to make a serious game for educational purposes. Yes. You're also a speaker at this conference? Yes. So yes. What, what did you speak about? I, I, sh I showed um, uh, the game Geriatrics. I told a little bit about the background, why we developed the game, how the uh, game looked like and what's inside the game. But I also presented the first results um, of the research I undertook of uh, uh, implementing the series game into uh, the medical curriculum. Uh -huh. And um, well, I, I, I told them uh, that uh, it, it's, it's, it works, so it, it, students can better um, use costs of medical appropriateness into their complex medical decision making. They find it fun, they find it a safe environment, but disappointingly, they didn't like the feedback. So one of the, the game gives you feedback. The game gives feedback on their actions. Uh, <laughs> so I told them uh, that the feedback was disappointing, but we are now developing um, a, a, a new game so to improve the feedback on this game. Yes. So that's quite uh, well um, uh, disappointing outcome, I can imagine. Yes, yes. So, do you feel that that's because uh, students don't like feedback in general? No, I, you, I, you could say that. No, <laughs> no? I, I think yeah. students are very appreciate feedback very much, yeah. but they want the right feedback on the right way. Uh -huh. And I think they have a point that the feedback they got, what they are missing, is in the end they want to know how should I have played the game to uh, win the game or to uh, be perfect in helping my patients. So that's missing and that's the next step to improve, to give them the right feedback. So, so, so that's one of the problems you encounter yes, while, uh, yes. uh, while developing this. Um, are there any other problems you, you come, come across? Um, the money, where does the money come from? Uh, the, the money is, um, is invested by um, our department of geriatrics, mm -hmm. but also co-investment of uh, Montpellier Venture. Um, we, uh, uh, together we invested uh, it uh, for this game. So that's what we started with. We get, got some additional funding, but um, having enough money is always a problem because you want to develop more and more and better. And it so, takes a long time and, and you need a lot of money. And you need a lot of money. So until now the, uh, there, there was enough money, but to keep on developing more money is needed. So, and is that is that difficult to find investors here in Holland to who think, oh, this is a good idea? Well, um, we are now in a phase that we want to build a user platform and to sell licenses for other people to use it, and that must uh, that can generate some money, and with that money we can uh, develop um, the game uh, even more. But we're in a phase that we are thinking about who wants to um, uh, have a license for this. So we are um, looking if we can change the game a little bit so we can make a, a medical reasoning game, not only for geriatrics, but also for other uh, disciplines. So 
you can broaden your scope so more doctors can use it in educating their students. So that's that's the plan, and and, and hopefully that will generate money of enthusiastic doctors who will also use the game. Yeah. So, that's so, so money is an issue? Validating the game yes, is, is an issue? Yes, certainly. Do, do you see any other things on the way that you well, need to take in account? Um, well, um, um, I think the money is important for developing the game. Mm-hmm. Then afterwards a problem is implementing it and researching the game. And the fourth step is uh, valorizing the game so you can generate money with it. I think that are the four basic problems which you have to deal with uh-huh. in some more or less way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you're in this process? And yes, yes. And, yes. And, um, but I'm very happy with the results until now, but uh-huh. we have to, uh, to, to make more steps to uh, to go to go along to get along along. yeah 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 yeah. um i've talked to quite a few people here today already and and what what i also hear is that um um well one of the things that that is going on is that uh, that there are quite different worlds who who need to meet yes yes that that's um, also fun part of it yeah but it has some difficulties so you have to have a project team with different people in it. You have the medical expert, you have the students, you have the educationalist, you have the game designer and the game developer. So you have the different parties, but it's also something out of the box and extraordinary to do. And it's also fun to do with such, to working with such a difficult different people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you first have to get to know, know yes. or to speak each, well, yeah. your language, each other's yes. language, probably, to, yes. even though you all speak Dutch. Yes, <laughs> but I think there are three, three main uh, domains you have to um, keep uh, in balance. Uh, so you have the medical, uh, medical domain, yeah. with, uh, the content domain, so you have to educational dom- domain, how do you teach students right things, but you have also the game domain, how do you make uh, the game fun yeah. and not uh, yeah. so that are and, and like a real relevant. game because yes. because that was was uh, at least that's what I heard uh, a long time the, the problem that serious gaming were well, too serious, serious. And, not, yes. and not really fun, fun. or uh, yeah. exciting yes. or yes. Yeah. Yes. so that you have to mix those three domains in the right way and then mm-hmm. you have a, have a the recipe for success. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so when 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 you leave this conference, when um, what what should be the outcome for you to be happy? Um, well, I I hope I've reached some other people to think about this game, about the research. But I have also some uh, some uh, partners who will want to have a license of this game, who want to. Uh, use this game in their education. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's also when that, when that happens, does, happens yeah. is, uh, then it will be. So you safe. talk to a lot of people yes. and try uh, to uh, get yes. them interested. Yes, and yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And how, is it, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Well, a lot of people to speak and um, I, um, a lot of people you know by now. It, it's the third time I come here, so yeah. you, you see a lot of different people, but also a lot of people you've met before. So yeah. it's, it's fun to, to, to meet them again. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs>